Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is our lecture number 14. 13 lectures actually covered. From lecture number 1 to 7, we discuss about the uh, ordinary differential equation solution by Fobenius method. And specially, we discuss about the legendary polynomial, Bessens differential equation, and Hermite polynomial. So, if you want to watch this differential equation solution by Fobenius method, you can go through the lecture number 1 to 7. After that, from lecture number 8 to 13, we discuss about the solution of partial differential equation using separation of variable, right? And then there are some uh, special example uh, like uh, wave equation, Laplace equation also discuss including these lectures. And this is the last lecture for the partial differential equation. Uh, in this lecture, we discuss about the defensive diffusion equation. Actually, the heat diffused within this material will be discussed here. Okay. So, I think clear about the all the lectures are previously. Uh, if you want to you go through the description box, link are given there. You can see this uh, two will be discussed in lecture number one to seven. Uh, and this six is discussed about uh, from lecture number. 8 to 13 and this will be the 14 this will be covered the total portion this diffusion equation will be discussed in this lecture okay in the upcoming lecture we will be discussed in the is, is the Fourier series will be discussed in the uh, lecture number 15 okay so I think clear about the root of this lecture series okay let's start so you can see this is the heat flow within any material if you take this in the three dimension material uh, rectangular or somewhere else so this uh, heat flow will be like that for three dimension this is actually total uh, equation and in steady states this temperature gradient with respect to time is does not change it will only depends on the space then this will becomes like that okay so this is in case of steady state this is the in case of steady state for three dimension this two are dimension and one dimension clear in our uh, discussion, we want to discuss the two dimension. Uh, one dimension is easier. I think you you can understand my point. That is the these are the differential equation, and we need to solve this equation with the specific boundary condition. Okay. So take an example. This example says, find the steady state temperature distribution in a thin plate bounded by this line x equals to zero, x equals to L. This is a thin plate where bounded by x equal to 0 x equals to l this is x equals to l this is x equals to l okay from x equals to 0 to x equals to l there is a plate and this y is infinite up to infinity and at this point the temperature is function of x at this line that is y equals to 0 line temperature is the function of x this is the total condition now you need to find the temperature uh, distribution so the steady state equation says like that and you know uh, this uh, separation of variable says this temperature can be uh, taken as the function of x into multiplied by the function of y so if you take the partial derivative with respect to x you get the y d x dx because this is a function of x so you can take this is the total derivative form and this is like that i think you uh, understand this thing if you was the previous lecture these are discussed in the separation of variable variable right so if you just uh, rearrange them you can see this is the function of x this is the function of y so this can be taken as the separation constant like that so this will be like that so its solution will be sine cos and this will be like that this solution will be exponential the total solution will be multiple of these two things because this t is taken as the multiplication of these two things x and y so this will be the solution now you use this boundary conditions that at x equals to 0 y infinity sorry at any x y tends to infinity this will be 0 so if you put this equal to 0 and y infinity means this term will be infinity since left hand 0 right hand cannot be infinity so c must be 0 because this is the in, uh, 0 and if you put y equals to infinity this becomes infinity so this cannot matches so this must c must be 0 so then will be and then it will be the matches okay so c will be 0 put this value of c you will be get this equation multiply this ad and bd you will be get the two different solution ad taken as a different constant ad taken as e and a, a d a, bd taken as f 
actually we want to reduce the number of constants as that we can solve easily because there will be three constant reduces to two constant this will be beneficial for finding the general solution okay now the next condition is at t equals to uh, x equal to 0 at any y this function is 0 so put this expression put x equals to 0 sin 0 0 cos 0 1 so you'll be get like that you can see this satisfy that e equals to 0 okay so if you put this e equals to 0 you'll be get this equation now finding the another constant uh, using this boundary condition that t l comma y equals to 0 that's mean at x equals to l this become 0 so put this value this equal to 0 and uh, and this is f sin omega l and this one. so from there we will be get this sin omega l equals to 0 and which is nothing but sin n pi so omega equal to n pi by l where n equals to 0 1 2 3 etc now the solution will be like that the summation of the all linear combination of all solution because the n is various there is no n number of uh, solution so the summation of this n number of solution gives you in the total solution so this fn sin omega value is n pi by l and this omega also n pi pi by l okay uh, we did not take n equals to zero because if you put n equals to zero this become zero that's why there is no solution that's why we take n equals to one now the another condition that is at x zero uh, x comma zero t x comma zero that's mean when y equal to zero the, the temperature is f of x so put this value f of x equal to f of n a sign in pi x in this expression put this f of x equal to 0 so if you multiply this uh, sign uh, in fx actually there is a summation so for in taking integration the summation will be eliminated there is a summation n equals to 1 to infinity so after taking this integration the summation will be eliminated so multiplied by the sign n pi x by l in both side then taking the integration you will be get this will be nothing but this is l this is l this is l okay this is l and this is dx this is dx so you know this integration gives you l by 2 and this integration can be obtained by uh, by if the f of x is given then this integration can be obtained then after finding the f of n you can uh, put this solution so this will be the general solution where fn equal to like that since this f of x is does not given here just for, for a specific solution this was a given and then we can find out this f of n uh, f of n it can be find out clear now take another example suppose that the following differential equation referred to a problem that two dimension steady state flow this one this is the steady state flow in two dimension now that is boundary condition like that you can see these three r condition is identical in the previous problem this is different in this previous problem this was given f of x but here the expansion is given okay so the from previous pro problem solution we can say this is the general solution you can see here before this condition putting the solution was like that this solution actually we taken because these three conditions are same so this process will be the same that's why we taken <coughs> this solution okay so after that when we put this boundary condition fourth boundary condition you can see that y zero that's mean this uh, equals to one so sine uh, pi x by a equals to summation fn sine l so if you uh, product this with this thing in two sides and then integrating you can see right hand side is a by two but in the left hand side you can use this formula that is the sine two sine c sine d uh, i think you remember this formula uh, two sine c sin d this is nothing but cos c minus d or d minus c no problem minus cos c plus d this is the formula this is the formula using this formula using this formula you will be get this expression uh, okay then after that if you integrating you can see like that okay so finally f of n can be written as like that 
now you can see if you put n equals to 1 this is sine 2 pi which is 0 n equals to 3 n equals to 4 and so on from uh, any value of n uh, this will become 0 for any value of n but you can see here if you put n equals to 1 this is 0 but this is also 0 this is 0 by 0 form that cannot be determined but uh, from n equals to 2 3 you can see uh, lower part is not 0 upper part is 0 so for n equals to greater than equal to 2 all value are 0 all coefficient are 0 but in case of n equals to 1 you can see f1 equal to 1 by a if you take the limit n tends to 1 sin n minus 1 by 5 so 0 by 0 form so you, you can use the l hospital rule i think you remember the l hospital rule l hospital rule using this l hospital rule you can uh, derivative in the uh, upper side and the lower side denominator and the <coughs> sorry so that's uh, just taking the derivative with respect to n you can see like that with respect to n this is so just put this value n equals to 1 you can see in the upper side cos 0 which is 1 and so this is not in 0 by 0 form so this will be 1 and this cancel out so finally you get this f1 equals to 1 so the total solution will be like that but you can see that is the for n equals to greater than equals to 2 all are 0 all coefficient are 0 all coefficient are 0 all coefficients are 0 only the present is f1 and put this value of f1 which is 1 i think clear about the solution process when this is the uh, particular function is given then you can find out this solution okay i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is your homework i think you can do this if there is any problem to solve this question you can comment in the comment box clear so that's it for today this is all about me and this is my contact details uh, actually this telegram channel you can connect with me with this telegram channel this is my other online platform and this is my youtube channel details uh, physics by lakshmi kanto sir you can see the different physics related video and some uh, mathematics for general subject for your general subject you can see you wa watch this also and like this session if you learn something from this session and share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribed thanks for subscription so take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you